what's up babes welcome back to the channel i am shantae and if you are new to my channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button okay because in this one we're doing another braid out but to all of my returning subscribers hey mama hey bestie hey friend hope you are being blessed and safe as always okay so let's go ahead and get into this video i'm doing a braid out on my freshly washed hair my lips with a little chat had a some you know Vaseline on them things can't have no crusty lips on camera last time I did a braid out I was using Donna's recipe and I loved the results for that braid out so if you want to check that braid out as well as and how successful it was I will provide the link down below for you to click and watch that video and I'll also like tag it somewhere up here in the corner for this one though we are going in with the pattern hair care so I'm going to apply my gloves because I do not like having product build up on my hands it is a pet peeve of mine it just I don't like that little sticky feeling and all the gunkiness in between my fingers it is irritating and annoying so I wear gloves so to begin any style I mean any style I always section my hair off into four sections it just helps me with detangling and I don't feel completely overwhelmed with the amount of hair on my head Ooh, child I finally sectioned off one I have my leave-in conditioner here I went in with three pumps this is three pumps because I'm gonna do this entire section right here and I like to use my prayer hands method to make sure I am distributing the product pretty good and it immediately softened my hair oh my goodness that is crazy section off a smaller section so I can go ahead and begin detangling my love made me a smoothie so I'm having a smoothie break real quick all right so to detangle I like to go in with a wide tooth comb I feel like the wide tooth comb just like helps me get out the big tangles first before I go in with my detangling brush. Here's the styling cream, and as you can see, I buy the big jumbo sizes because I have four heads to do. I would be completely insane wasting my money on small bottles. It does last long, and a little goes a long way. I do notice that with this product, that a little goes a long way. I don't have to have like a palm full of product to get it to do what I want it to. So I section my hair off on three sections, and now I'm again begin plaiting away. And I try to keep my root as tight as possible because I don't want a big fuzzy roots when it comes to my braid out. I like to get as much definition as possible. So I make sure I braid as close to the scalp as I can. Look at that length. I'm so proud of my hair. She's just doing so good. I love her growth this year. She is just like, ugh. I'm almost at the length I was before I did my last big chop. And that's my goal is to reach that length again and hopefully surpass it. I really want to see if I can surpass that last length. I think I was at bra strap length the last time I cut my hair completely bald. So I went completely bald.
Now, I didn't talk about how much I went in with the styling cream. And as you can see, it is creamy. I went in with one pump for that last section. I think I'm going to go in with one pump for this one, too. Now, I do got to walk around with these Bothalisha braids for like a day before I take them out. Um, but usually, I just throw on like one of my little quick hit headband wigs while I'm in between allowing my hair to dry before I take it out. Now, the thing about that is sometimes I throw on that headband wig and I'll keep it on for like five, six days before I finally get back to taking my braids <laughs> because I end up being falling in love with that headband wig because it's just so easy to install and then snatch that sucker right on off when I get home. Make sure you smooth out the hair about halfway through so you don't have any like tangled up strands. And this is going to get that braid nice and neat. And then once I get towards the end, I like to twirl it to create this nice curl and boom. There it is. I am finished installing all of my by Felicia braids and here we are with I think I got about 12 braids I got like three in each section so yeah I got 12 braids total so I don't do like really tiny ones and my hair isn't super thick that I require to do smaller ones usually these nice big ones do just fine for me but if your hair is a little bit thicker you might want to section off smaller sections and I'm using the shark blow dryer that I purchased off of Amazon and I also have it tagged on my Amazon storefront which is linked down below in the description box if you wish to check this out and it has like smart sequences to it so any kind of attachment that I use it automatically adjusts the settings for me so I don't have to worry about that I just attach and go Now to seal everything up, I am going to go in with a hair oil and I'm going in with the Pretty Strands hair oil. I've been using this oil on myself and my girls for the past couple of years. It's probably one of my day one hair product brands that I like use on again, off again, but the oil has always been my favorite. 